Hey Sagittarius Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. Thanks so much for being here. Let's get into your reading. I hope y'all are doing amazing. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Flip the rose if you need to. Could be past, present, future energy. Someone else around you I'm picking up on. Y'all got somebody around y'all that um, you might have to end up getting a restraining order. <laughs> this is somebody who is very envious of the fact that you shine like you do. They see you as a natural born leader and a star. Okay, you stand out from this person. You're in the spotlight. They feel like you get a lot of attention. You are the focal point. Everywhere you two go, it feels like a friend. It doesn't feel like a relationship, like a love relationship. But you are very motivated, very driven. And this person don't like to see it. They hate to see it. Okay? Spirit wants you to burn some sage and clear your energy and get this person out of your energy field. Um, yeah. Mm. Clear your space of toxicity. It says, when their attempts to break you prove to be futile, the lies start. They'll stop at nothing, though none of it will ever work. So this person is like sneak attacking you, sneak dissing you behind your back. Okay, but you've identified this person as the weakest link. Some of you, are, you're looking good, you're feeling good. Things are just really taking shape in your life. And this person really does hate to see it. There's so many beautiful things coming your way. There's a, a major breakthrough coming for you if you are in the public eye or you have um, desires to be i see a major moment happening for you soon a positive outcome in your current situation you're entering your winning season let's get into this we have you most likely to succeed so some of you this person has always felt like they were in your shadow and they don't like it back there practice deliberate delusion as counterintuitive as it may seem Sometimes delusions act as faith in situations that seem impossible to endure and or succeed. So this person struggles. They try to fake it till they make it. They try, they're try. they struggling to be what you naturally are. And this is what like chaps stay high. They don't like it. They got a real serious problem with it. We have parental skills. Hmm. Some of you, this person may not be. If they are a parent, they're not really good at it. And maybe you are. It seems like everything you do, you do it well. We have calling. Y'all know what song I heard when I was starting your reading? I almost forgot to mention it. I heard Formation by Beyonce. Okay, ladies, now let's get in formation. What did she say at the end when she's like, slave or you get eliminated? That's what I feel. I feel like you're like, if you can't keep up, if you're not going to get on your your square, I'm about to cuss. If you're not going to get on your square, work twice as hard as you've been working, at least match my efforts, at least try to be my peer, as opposed to competing with me, compete with yourself yesterday, the old you, the one that didn't do anything yesterday. <laughs> you have a calling over your life. You have calling here. Some of you work with children or you're very good with children. Namely, your own, if you have children, this person is jealous of everything about you from the hair on your head to the soles of your feet and everything you do from day to day. What's this taking shape for you? You are created to be an inspi inspirational vehicle of change. Your influence is powerful. You are a legend in the making. What did I tell you? Things are taking shape for you. You can't make it up. Not if you wanted to. You couldn't. This is spirit. This is all spirit. I don't take no credit for this. This is all spirit because... I pray before I do these readings. Show me what I need to see for my people. We have pride before the fall. Look at that. Six, I want this person jealous of you. This is bitter competition. This is somebody that is very insecure and very jealous. And they have a lot of pride because you make it look easy. You cannot. <laughs> no, God is so real. Yeah, you make everything you do look easy. I told you everything you do, it looks so perfect. And this person is like, they're so prideful. Instead of being inspired by you as this inspirational vehicle of change, they're jealous. They're the weakest link. Goodbye. Goodbye. What she used to say, you're the weakest link. Goodbye. <laughs> they're the weakest link. Whatever they do or whatever they have done is uncalled called for. It's just an unnecessary extra A, B, I, T, C, H. All right. Love is a two-way street. Let them do their part. Exactly. You want reciprocity. Oh, looking at it. I'm here looking. Looking a N-I-G-G-A by uh, Nicki Minaj. What does she talk about? She talk about people being in the club with their friends. They sharing, you know, jewelry and stuff. They faking it until they make it. I told you this person is faking it until they make it. 
I can't say any of the words. I sound crazy when I'm quoting these songs, but I don't want to get demonetized or my video to be age restricted. So that's why I'm like treading lightly. But yeah, this is about reciprocity. You want somebody that's putting in the same amount of work as you, not only in the relationship, but you want to see your friends thrive. You don't want to have weak link people around you. And this person is pretending to be, but they are looking at it. Think I got on? Yeah, this is crazy. You only live once. You're purpose driven. You're intentional. You don't waste time. Growth and expansion is the name of your game. When in doubt, wait. Okay. We have performance anxiety, stage fright, and stress and pressure. This person can't live up. They don't like being in your shadow. You are a natural born star. This person doesn't have the calmness. <laughs> they don't have the guts. No guts, no glory, right? Yeah, this person can't show up as their um, authentic self because they've been faking for so long. Let's pull a couple cards. Not too many, just a couple that you need to hear. Spirit, show me what I need to see for Sagittarius and this crazy person around them. He's a pentacles, baby. Look at you. Some of y'all, look, I said sharing jewelry. Look at this. You didn't have to get this person jewelry. <laughs> they always looking for a handout. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Look at you, the star. That's where we started. Star pupil, creative, determined. This is the confidence to go for what you want. Something is manifesting some major financial blessing that's coming from God. That's the hand of God handing you some type of prosperity. Whatever seeds you are planting right now is going to turn into a very magical money. Because the Ace of Pentacles is the first seed planted in the um, Pentacles suit. Okay? So this is where the thought comes in, the opportunity, the, the potential comes in. The star is the full realization of something. And that's a quick turnaround to go from the ace to the star, okay? So again, some of y'all, it just comes easy for you to win. All I do is win, win, win. Look at this justice. You got good karma here with the eight of swords. Wow. This person is stuck in some kind of karma. Karma. Karmic cycle. Some of you, you see how both of these cards show someone blindfolded, Gemini and Libra energy. This person wanted to keep you blind to the fact that they were not going to ever move. They were stuck. They're stagnant. They're so fearful. You know, we had that speaking engagement card talking about them having performance anxiety. This person doesn't know how to go for what they want. Okay, they're in prison in their mind. They're a very negative thinking person. And some of you have been more than fair with this person. I got the page of wands. Look at you. You've been motivated since you were a child. This goes back to you. Some of you, you make videos or something about videography or photogra photography. It could be cinematography. To a sword, you're cutting this person off. They could even be trying to block your um, creativity here. It could be a Libra. Sagittarius, that page of wands is you. You've always been motivated. You like to travel. You like to move around. Um, some of you could definitely be in the public eye, a motivational speaker, something like that. Look at this person. They're stuck. Look at this. Stuck, procrastinating, don't know how to decide what next, what their next move should be. Meanwhile, you're picking and choosing what you're going to do next. Look at you, nine of pentacles. Virgo energy. Some of you, there's a Gemini, a Scorpio, a Libra around you that you need to watch out for look at this devil they hate to see you successful because it makes them feel like a failure gemini capricorn some of you got virgo placements but this is you being abundant a windfall of money you being a star being an influencer yes this is looking in the light the lap of luxury here very affluent could be getting an inheritance. Or some of you just inherited this quality from your family, your bloodline. Okay, that's it, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.